During his playing days, Melvin Booker wore the uniform of both the Grand Rapids Mackers and Grand Rapids Hoops. Now he's an NBA dad. Let's join Melvin right now. Joins us from Phoenix. Melvin, great to have you. Thanks for being with us. When, when Devin played for the Grand Rapids Storm, he was always one of the better players, absolutely best player on the floor. Did you envision this type of success? Um, <laughs> when he was playing at the Storm, you know, Devin was a, was a great player. He was a good player. And I felt like the Storm family did a good job of developing him. But uh, I, I felt like, you know, he was good at that time, but it was a little bit more work that he needed to put in in order to take his game to the next level. You know, he was in high school for a year at uh, Granville, and then he made the move to, to play for you in Mississippi. He said in a press conference the other day, his love for basketball started in Grand Rapids. Mississippi brought out the dog in him. What did you do to bring out that dog? I mean, Devin was around me and my friends, so he, he got to play, you know, basketball, just open gym basketball with grown men three times a week and, you know, guys beating up on him and pushing up on him. And, and as a father, I wasn't protecting him when he was playing with us. I was letting him get in his own arguments, you know, create his own calls, debate his own call, argue with his own call, talk trash to older guys. But, you know, it was all about basketball. But it was so much other stuff just working on his game. And he was getting a professional workout as a 14-year-old when he moved down there with me. Everything I had incorporated in my game and, develop as a pro, I was basically just passing it down to Devin and he was getting it early. How fun is it now to see his star rise before your eyes? Man, you know, in my eyes, Devin always been a star. It's just the world is catching up with him now because he's playing on this stage. I always thought Devin was one of the top players in the NBA and uh, it just, he had to win for everybody else to see it and now you know, we, we had a great year. We, we're in the finals and now the world get to see him shine on, on the biggest stage. How much of an influence has Chris Paul had on your son? Oh, he's had a, a, a tremendously big influence. It's like his big brother here, you know, having a big brother in the locker room to, to help show him how to lead, how to be even more professional and, and just show how he care himself. And Chris has did a wonderful job of, of taking Devin under his uh, wings and, and showing him some things. And you know, when Chris said the other day the reason why he came to Phoenix was because of Devin, he saw something special in Devin just by competing against Devin on the court that he wanted to come here and help him out. Melvin, we got to watch you shine in Grand Rapids with the Mackers and the Hoops. What are your memories of playing here? You know, the memory, the one memory I do have, that team that we had one year there was uh, Conzo Martin, Ray Jackson, Justin Jennings. We actually have a, 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 a chemistry and bond like Devin and this Phoenix Suns team have. Conzo, you know, he's coaching at Mizzou right now. Me and him still in communication. I just got back in communication with Ray Jackson. And, you know, I've ran into guys that knew Justin Jennings, and they tell me, hey, I remember you played with Justin. So I just remember us being a big family there. Mark Hughes, who's assistant general manager for the uh, Clippers, we always talk about those uh, – those moments. So we was a we was a family in the CBA and, and we all hung out and had a good time together. One of the things you were famous for was doing the happy Gilmore after some big buckets. Uh, why aren't we seeing Devin do that? <laughs> Devin is locked in a little different. You know, he got that mama mentality. He he's super stoked face, serious about, you know, uh, uh, getting the job done. You know, dad had a little bit of a more personality out there on the court with with, with the moves and stuff. And what has Devin said to you about the honor of being an Olympian and wearing Team USA on his chest? Man, we was just talking about it just a couple of days. He stopped by my house and we was just, you know, just taking it all in. Like, you know, not only just being an Olympic, the chance of being an NBA champion and then uh, being an Olympic. It, it's just something that, just say two years ago, we won 19 games and uh, we wasn't expecting it to be this quick, but it happened. And, now we're just trying to take advantage of it, but those will be a lot of Devin goals that he can check off and, and a dream come true for him. All right, Melvin, enjoy this ride. Thanks so much for joining us. Great to catch up with you and, and get some insight on Devin here. It's uh, good luck in the finals and good luck in the Olympics. Thanks for having me.